Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Elden Ring. Part 2! Uh, I did some farming while not recording, so I'm level 20 now instead of level 10. And uh, hopefully There's the increase Might I gave to Vigor will be enough My to keep me from Zarina. dying 800 times. From Castle Morin, I don't know yet. South. Uh, but I didn't realize that confessors have I, such ridiculously low sure vigor to start with. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. Um, but I, I didn't do anything I important other than go to the round table hold for the first time my good father and so good uh, kill an invader, Anastasia, to stay. who he says it's his duty. is the as easiest commander. invader in the game, even though she invades you like six times. I... Anyway, this I is Arena. She can't see. The servants are full of wrath, filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every Since this is my first let's play, if anyone happens to find themselves here and they have I some advice they can give me, I'd be very appreciative. I'm very open to you. criticism and Would advice. You mind a to so, my if you castle. find yourself my here and he feel like giving me some Even tips, should be, the price. be very much appreciated. Please. I just want him to be safe. Thank you, dearly. I'm gonna Thank try to do all the quests I can. Uh, I don't know if I'll do Dung Eater's quest because I feel absolutely disgusting when I do his quest. So, you know, that's a maybe. Anyway, we're gonna head to Castle Morn. Actually, we're gonna do something else first. Right there it is, Church of Ella. Ale, however you say it. There's old Witch Hunter Gale. I mean, <laughs> Witch Hunter Gerald. He looks like Gale, from Slave Knight Gale from Dark Souls 3. So, it's kind of what I call him. Anyway, this. If you don't know who this is, you're way behind. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the Witch Renna. I'd heard tell of a tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon <sighs> looking out. into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call I forth a spectral am. steed named Torrent. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee, by Torrent's former master. Thank you. Tis a bell of calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Thank you. You know, I didn't catch it until uh, I did a little practice playthrough, or a little practice. Uh, I don't know, not really a playthrough because I didn't get very far in it, but a little practice, um, run. But I didn't catch it that, uh, this implies that Torrent's former master was blithe. Forgive mine intrusion, Tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. <laughs> but all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder? Before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers. Well, I'll see you later. Brownie is one of the best characters in the game. Honestly, probably my second favorite. Uh, personally, I'm a big fan of Millicent. Uh, I really like her quest. I really like her character as a whole. I think she's very underappreciated by the community because most people just talk Ronnie Ronnie Blythe Blythe. But, you know, put some respect on Millicent. She's a great character. With a heart wrenching quest that I will be doing. And, uh, the bosses I can summon her against are going to be some of the exceptions to my no summoning rule because I really like fighting with her. She's. A badass. Anyway, what we're gonna do before we do Castle Morn is we're gonna fight a couple cave bosses. 
this was my first boss my first time around, and it's going to be my first boss this time around as well. can sometimes catch me off guard. They did kill me the first time I came through here. My first place here. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize it was that short of a walk. Okay. I don't know why I'm equipping my shield. It's not like I'm going to do much with it. Beastman of Fair Missoula. I don't know how he missed me with that. Uh, he has no force. Oh shit! I forgot he leaps forward when he does that. Not a difficult boss at all. In fact, he comes back later as a regular enemy. Ironically, probably the best gank fight in this game is when you fight two of them. Because, I mean, it's the only gank fight that's kind of fun and there's no bullshit element to it. It's just you fight two of them and they have two different weapons and yeah. It's a passable gank fight. Unlike most of the game fights in this game. Shit. Shit. Okay. Why did you jump up there? Okay. I'll be going down. Shit, man. Oh, by the way, the answer of uh, my first death has been answered. Uh, if you guessed a dragon, you would be correct. Uh, I went into Kaled to do some uh, what I thought would be easy farming. Turns out I don't have any bleed weapons, so it really wasn't. Um, I was going to kill Grail, the giant dragon, in Kaled, but without any bleed weapons, got too much health. Got like probably 60,000 health, I don't know. It takes like four bleeds, which each do like 13,000 damage plus more hits, so. Yeah, Grail's got a lot of health. She was the mother of all dragons, so it kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting killed by one of the dragons around Grail. One shot, so, you know, wasn't, wasn't worth it. <laughs> Rick, soldier of God. Only these ones don't have shields, so they're more like Rick, soldier of not God. That was sounded better in my head. Yeah, I'm not a natural comedian, so. I'll try to make jokes every now and then just because that's who I am as a person, but uh, I don't know if they'll all be funny. I hope some somebody laughs at that stupid comment I just made. If I can bring joy to anyone, it is a success. Anyone watching ever heard of that? Or ever seen that video of the dude who pretended to be this torch guy <laughs> to uh, throw off an invader? Hilarious video. Dude ran past him like six times and then just gave up. 
Also, I think the dude came on, uh, like, went on Reddit later and explained, like, oh, I was high as a kite when I was playing, so... You know, that might have had something to do with it. Ugh, the bats. Why does it have to be nighttime? I do love the dynamic time of day and the dynamic weather in this game. I think it's phenomenal. really helps the world feel more alive and more like an actual world. That was something that was kind of lacking in um, Sekiro, the last FromSoft game, is that it was just daytime the entire game, except for a couple times when it was night. Uh, in a memory and at the end of the game. Which, when the date changed tonight, that was really cool. Also had... The three best boss fights in the game were all in nighttime areas. I'm gonna keep leveling my vigor until I get to like 20, because right now, just... Everything almost kills me in one hit. When I was in Kaled, I was like, I'm gonna kill a clean run at night, and then, uh, yeah. I failed. Quite a bit, because they have more health than I realized. At least, you know, I shouldn't say they had more health. I did less damage than I expected to do. You there? Could you help oh, us oh. out, Cully? Cully? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Yes, this is... This little tree here you? is Bach. Yeah, you there? He is a little Stop treasure. Stop pretending you can't see me. I can't, but now I can. What'd you go and do that for? This is the only good demi-human in the oh, game. Oh, yes. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. You were just then too I good for them, Bok. I would like to know who along, really. turned him into a tree. And oh. why? What a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry. So I'm going to try to keep these episodes or around 20 minutes because it causes less issue when I try to upload them. I could sneak uh, my back first episode, and bring back hopefully it successfully value. uploaded at some point. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Uh, otherwise, this episode won't make much sense. Um, hopefully it uploaded, but like it... Already it's given me one could not upload message. And the PS... The PS4 has a uh, recording limitation of 60 minutes, so rest assured no episode will ever go longer than that. Or even that long. I'm not going to let it get that close, because... I mean, I have a 60-minute episode on my channel, or video, because uh, for some reason, the, when I fought the Curse Rod of Great Wood in Dark Souls 3, it took everything that happened after I beat Vort of the Boreal Valley and just threw it into the recording, even though I distinctly remember only pushing re or starting recording at the start of the fight for the Curse Rod of Great Wood. But, you know, Dark Souls 3 and PS4 decided otherwise. And die. God. That's such a brutal kill when they're on the ground. Little lore bits that you get in this game are come from these sword monuments. And they're really interesting to read. Godric the Golden, humiliated, having tasted defeat by the blade of Mikala, now on his knees, begging for mercy. Basically, Melania kicked his ass and humiliated him. Which, I'm not surprised. Godric, quite a bit easier than Melania. And also, Godric just. His whole thing is he wants power because he's not powerful. Kind of tragic. Godric's kind of a sad character, but he's also a psychopath because, you know, he cuts off the legs and arms and heads of Tarnished and attaches them to himself because he thinks that's what will make him more powerful. Ow. My 
question really is, what were Godric and Melania fighting over? Because, I mean, Godric was never a threat to getting the Elden Ring. He just had a shard. And also, if Melania kicked his ass, why didn't she take a shard if that's what it was for? Gosh, I hate torchbearers. They're just annoying because you take damage without ever, like doing anything that would cause you to take damage, it's literally just approaching them because they hold that torch out like idiots. Shit, come back here. This guy already forgot anything was going on. Uh, I don't think I'm equipped to fight a Knight's Cavalry yet. Might as well test it. How much damage can I do? Oh shit. Gosh, how am I still missing? <laughs> this is embarrassing. I hit the whore, or I hit the lion. Oh, he did half my health. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do a tactical retreat here. I'm not, uh, I don't have enough health yet to fight you. Edge Cavalry's aren't hard bosses, but fighting him early is not a good idea. Let me just, uh, pass the time a little bit. Eh, we were already almost in morning anyway, but oh well. So, now we shall go to Castle Morn. Huh. I never actually saw her name there, so I didn't see that it was Arena of Morn, which makes sense, but... You know, I've never saw it, so that's cool. Oh, when I first started playing the game, those icons didn't exist. I didn't start playing him at, playing it at a uh, release because I didn't know about it because I haven't followed uh, new games in a couple years, but definitely be following them again now. Uh, there was a period of time where I didn't really game much anymore, just never had the time or the motivation to do it. But nowadays, gaming's one of my escapes, so I really enjoy. I'm really glad to have gotten back into it, because, admittedly, I missed it a lot. Okay, you're dead. I don't know if I actually want to take the time to kill everything here. Dogs are the most annoying enemies in FromSoft games, period. They're not quite as bad in Elden Ring as they were in Bloodborne. Bloodborne dogs were ridiculous. Though the bleed dogs, since they're, since they're bugged, pretty terrible. Thank you. I think I'm gonna kill this ogre. This giant. Ooh, knock 
knocked him down. Oh, never mind. Okay, now I knocked him down. <laughs> Stab him in the face. That didn't do nearly as much damage as I expected it to. Whoa, okay. First time I played Elden Ring, when I <laughs> first enemy I encountered after getting killed by the Grafted Scion uh, and the Tree Sentinel was a giant. There's some misbegottens. These guys are a little bit of a pain, but not too. That's shit. Unless they freaking gang up on you. Sake. You die, thank you. Gosh, how fucking many of you are there? Okay. That should be all of them. I did get the Estes Restore. Oh yeah, there's an item in here. A morning star. Is that a bleed weapon? Cause blood must build up. I can go take out Grail. I did have a flail last time, but I didn't have the I couldn't inflict blood loss because I didn't have the uh stat for it. Yes, I did try that. For a while. Mighty shot. Oh, good. One I'll never use because I don't use bows. Anyway, I'll kill Grail between recordings. Uh, actually, no. I'll do it on recording. Heck, I'll go do it right now. Um, what was the one right next to her? I think it was the smoldering wall? Not positive. Might have been Dragon Barrel West. No, I remember which one it was. It was the one right outside of Fort, um, something. Can't remember the fort's name right now. Gosh, freaking, a lot of people don't like Kayla. They think it's ugly, but I, like, how can you say this is ugly? That is freaking gorgeous. With the golden Erdry, minor Erdry in the distance. The towers, the huge Erdry, the actual Erdry. Just, it's just beautiful. Like, yeah, everything's rotten, but it's also, it, it's morbidly beautiful because all this rot, like, it's rot and it kills most things, but also some new life has come out of it. Like, look here. I doubt that grows in our land that's not rotted. All the life has been metamorphosized to live in the rot. It's just so pretty. The red sky is really a nice touch. Like, without the red sky, it wouldn't be nearly as visually appealing. Fort Farrah, that's it. 
I knew it started with a G, but I, or F, <laughs> a G, an F, but I couldn't remember what it was. Fort Faroth. Uh, oh yeah, one more rule I set for myself is I'm not going to dual wield any weapons. Um, I feel like that will make it significantly tougher. But also, dual wielding is can kind of be turned into a meta if you add the right uh, enchantments. Love missing. Why do I keep missing? What the hell? Majestic mother of dragons, but we also have a lot of runes for me. Early game, that many runes can uh, really jump you forward. I need to find a better place to hit her. Grail, the mother of all dragons, as she's described. I honestly feel like killing her is kind of a mercy because she's this beautiful majestic dragon who's just been reduced to a pile of dying, rotting flesh. There we go. There's the there's the bleak rock. Yeah, okay, it takes more than four. I was wrong. <laughs> to get behind her when you're doing this because her scream actually wakes her children up and uh, yeah they'll mess you up uh, I found that out the hard way that's why my first death was to a dragon uh, I've only died two times since one was to a dog of course and another was to Scarlet Rock and Clean Rod Knights slash Millicent in painting. I don't know why Millicent invades you, or why she has two arms when she does. There we go. And half, so it takes like six 13,000 bleeds, so she has a lot of health. Can you imagine a boss fight with this? If she's not immobile and rotted. That'd be a one hell of a boss fight because she'd have like more, th more than three times as much health as Pasiki Sax who already has a lot of health. I think his health bar is 26k. Also, I'm restricting myself from dual wielding, knowing that my first playthrough, I didn't ever dual wield anything. Uh, I used the Bloodhound Fang pretty much the entire game from when I got it. Uh, actually, it was when I fought the Ancestor Spirit, because my uh, sword I was using at the time wasn't doing much to the Ancestor Spirit, and I switched to Bloodhound Fang and used it on my first try with it. And I was like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stick with this weapon. Thanks, Gary Will. Come on, bleed prop. Rock already. There we go. I actually used Grail's Roar um, in my first playthrough and found it to not be very strong, but then I found out apparently it's actually really strong. I just apparently wasn't using it right. That was my freaking 
damn the bar is so small. I, uh, I'm a big proponent for stamina in all of these games. I tend to level up my stamina. Oh, wait. Did the bleed proc and I didn't see it? This also kills all of her children. You can actually kill her by killing all her children, or you can kill all her children by killing her. Five dragon hearts! <sighs> there goes a majestic creature. But, like I said, I feel like it's a mercy to kill her because she's nothing like what she was in her heyday. But yeah, what is in her heyday? Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, thank you, anybody who has chosen to watch this entire time. Um, I'll see you next time.